Hi and welcome to our tutorial on using Weebly to help you create a classroom portfolio site. This tutorial relates specifically to the EdPsych 5441 class. So I'm going to be using our classroom assignment as kind of the basis for what I'm going to be doing as I create this particular website. Let's get started. Now I'm going to be a little different because I've already created my account but you can see if you're doing this for the first time you'll go through the process of creating the free website. Please make sure you write down your username and password as I will not be able to help you look those up later. I'm going to log into my site and you can see that as I get started with this I've got a couple of choices here and I want to use the button that says create a site. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. It asks me what I want to call my site and I'll just call mine EDPS5441. I'll change it to 6441 this time just because I already have one. And I click continue. Now this is not the web address for this page because the web address is actually coming up now. You can see that I can put in any web address that I want for free using the .weebly.com um, at the end of it. So I'm going to create this one for EDPS 6441. And you can see immediately there's a query to find out whether or not that name is available. If it's unavailable, it means that someone else already has that. Now please know that options B or C require that you have a little bit more information or that you're willing to spend money to register a domain. I'm going to say that you stick with the free Weebly.com subdomain. And I'll continue into my site. Now before I actually start to build my site, I might want to change the way my pages look. So I'm going to come up here and look at some of the different options that I have. I have a few options here for basic styles or things that I can add to my page including multimedia. I could put ads on my page or you can see I've got a few other options. Across the top I've got some tabs including what kinds of elements I want on the page, text, pictures, whatnot. I've got my designs so if I want to change the the banner across the top of the page I can add more pages and we'll get to that in a moment or I can change my overall settings. So right now I'm going to go into the designs and I'm just going to pick a design that I think works for me in this class. And I'll just go through and click on one. Oh, that one looks pretty good. You can see that I can scroll down the side here and find several uh, different choices. I'll pick one for education. Let's pick this one with a pencil. So you can see there's my design that I'm going to be using for this course. As I create additional pages they'll continue with this theme or this design. Now the pages that you're required to make in this tutorial uh, for our class are you, you're required to make a reflective journal page, an about me page which is kind of your biography page and then a projects page or a page that you use uh, to store future projects that you're going to be building. That concludes this tutorial as far as getting your site set up. Uh, the last thing that you'll want to do and I should have done this a moment ago but let's do it right now is I'm going to go ahead and click on the publish button so that I can have my site created and there's my URL. That will conclude this tutorial and I'll show you more about adding the pages and actually building and using the site as we continue.